from junior high school, I went to a swimming pool, you know, went to the, and was going to pay to get in, and they said, well, Chinese are not allowed. I wasn't, uh, I don't think I was mad or anything. It just shocked me. But I said, well, heck, I said, if I make myself as good as them, get an education as good as them, I said, well, let me prove them that we're as good. Living in this area here, you know, our exposure to, let's say, Chinese kids is minimum. And we said, let's try to get them to exposure where they see more Oriental kids. I see how it works out. So we let the kids, and we said, hey, why don't we join the drum corps? There was a lot of people that we know in there, and it was kind of like a nice, friendly group. The social aspect of it was the most important. When you have boys and girls in the dating age, it's a concern, a real concern. You have to make opportunities for your children. I mean, real efforts. And one of the ways to do it is to belong to the Drum and Bugle Corps. When you belong to an organization, that helps you form an identity, makes you feel a little more secure, because there's nothing worse than the feeling of not belonging. The Drum Corps is one of the organizations that can provide that very important belonging to attitude and that very important uh, identification. In a large family such as ours, there's really very little to talk about that's in common. And drum corps, we can talk about it. And we even share heartaches, such as losing a contest. These are the things that we share. Uh, we laugh about the same thing, we cry about the same thing, and we fight about the same thing. I think it's really great. And so there's a lot of togetherness as a family, and there's a lot of togetherness as, as a drum corps.